All right, now we've looked at how to measure angles, okay? We know that a complete circle is 100, I'm sorry, 100, 360 degrees. Now we're gonna work on adding and subtracting angle measures, okay? This is very important stuff. So I'm gonna draw two angles here that share the same vertex, okay? And let me name them. So this is A, B, C, and D, okay? So the two angles I have here are angle A, B, C, and angle C, B, D, right? A, B, C, C, B, D. Okay, you put that vertex in the middle of your angular name. Um, now, this is actually easy if you keep it straight. Okay, if you keep it um, sequential, you do it logically, this is actually super easy. I'm gonna tell you right now, oh look, I've created a third angle as well. And that angle is A, B, D, okay? A, B, D, all right? All those angles share the vertex B. I'm gonna tell you that angle A, B, D, let's say it equals 75 degrees. That is the angle measurement of A, B, D, all right? And the angle measurement of C, B, D is 40 degrees, okay? And I'm trying to figure out what the angle measurement of A, B, C is. So I know a lot of stuff here, but the nice thing is, is that I have enough information to figure out what I need to do. If I know what the big angle is, and I know what this portion is, then it's a simple subtraction problem to figure out this angle, right? So angle A, B, D minus angle C, B, D will equal angle A, B, C. Let me show you, 75 degrees minus 40 degrees equals 35 degrees, okay? Therefore, angle ABC will equal 35 degrees. Okay, let's take a look, work backwards from that and double check to make sure that makes sense. So if you have 35 plus 40, that gives you a total of 75. So therefore my, my main angle, my big one, should be 75 and there it is, 75 degrees. Okay, so you gotta take what you know to figure out what you don't know. And that, that's common, we always do that. Now let's look at another example. I'm gonna keep the same names because that doesn't change. All right, but I'm gonna make a bigger angle. This one is overall greater than 90 degrees. What do we call that? Obtuse, yes. So here is A, B, C, and D, okay? I don't know, I don't know the main angle, but let's say I know that this is 53 degrees, okay, CBD. Let's assume we know that CBD is 53 degrees. And let's assume that we know ABC is 57 degrees. How do I figure out ABD? Well, both of these angles combined make angle ABD. So that means both of the angular measurements combined are gonna make angle ABD. So it's just a simple matter of adding the two. 57 plus 53, 101, 110 degrees. Okay, and that, that's about right, right? That's, I mean, that's pretty good. 110 degrees, boom goes the dynamite. There you go.
I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna give you a little bit less information. You're gonna have to, again, let your number sense tingle and tell me what's going on. So I'm gonna keep the same names. I don't know why I'm choosing to do that, but I'm choosing to do that, okay? A, B, D, okay. All right, so I've got two angles there. Now in the past, I've given you two angle measurements and you either had to decide whether you subtract to find out one of the remaining ones or whether you add it to find out the overall one. This time I'm only gonna give you one, but you're gonna be able to figure out what the rest is. So I'm gonna give you angle CBD. I'm gonna tell you that's 30 degrees. I want you to pause it for a minute and I want you to write this down and figure out what angle ABC is, okay? I haven't given you any more information other than one tiny angle, but I guarantee you have enough to do it. All right, what was the one thing I didn't mention, but you should have seen it and immediately known what was going on? Yes, this little square right there. What does that mean? That little square angle means it's a right angle and a right angle is 90 degrees. So I know that ABD is 90 degrees because of the way it was written. You don't put a square on an angle unless it's 90 degrees. Therefore, now I ha know I have enough information to solve what angle ABC is, okay? Because this angle ABC plus this angle CBD must equal 90 degrees. And what plus 30 equals 90 degrees? Yep, 60, 60, okay? And there you go.